Hey, welcome, welcome. Oh, look, there's my dog. She's she's readjusting. <laughs> she's always back there. She gets so upset. With, look, she's going further away from me because she's so upset that I am speaking around her. That's so that's so on point for you, anchovy. Horse baby. Okay. Well, anyway, <laughs> welcome to Trends on Thursday. This is where we um, we go on Teachers Pay Teachers. We see what's trending. We um, deep dive a little bit into something, uh, you know, that we could make. Um, and then I make it and the shop size and the, the and list it like all in one sitting. So you can see all of it. And you could be like, oh, I could totally make something in, um, what is this? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I could totally make something in two hours. Okay, so uh, last night my son, or this morning my son woke up and he asked me why this little guy was in his room. It's a little fish. And I was like, I don't know. Why don't you just put it back in your room? It's supposed to be on like the, the plug for your phone. So it doesn't fall apart. And uh, he came up here and he put it on my headphones. So I guess, I guess that's that. I guess that's where I'm living now. All right. Well, um, yeah. All right. So um, first things first, let's head on over to Teachers Pay Teachers. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, look at that pretty clip art. Spring. Oh, come back spring symbols oh yeah they are look at all of them oh look at that little froggy oh so cute all right so what you can do on teachers pay teachers is you can just click on this search bar right here and it'll drop down the top three trending um searches right now um or within the last week uh black history month was last month so we're not going to do that um fox and socks is highly trademarked uh so <laughs> We're definitely not going to do that. Um, and St. Patrick's Day. Hi, user. I can't see what your name is, but hi. I see you. Um, St. Patrick's Day is easier, I would imagine. Reading comprehension and math are literally always on, <laughs> always on here. Um, so we could do, oh, hi, Veronica. Okay. Um, so we could do something math. We could probably do St. Patrick's Day and math at the same time. So I generally make some, I make products for preschoolers, as you'll see, with whatever I end up making, uh, to like maybe second grade. Like, um, yeah. But what you could do if you are a high school teacher or something and you have um, a certain subject that you teach, like if you teach math, then your St. Patrick's Day math product is probably going to be different than my St. Patrick's Day math product because you're not teaching preschoolers. <laughs> um, so you can look up St. Patrick's Day math and look, it says even kindergarten is trending for with St. Patrick's Day math. Um, but you could do this person. I just has, <laughs> they've been around for a long time and they just take the same product and they, uh, repurpose it every, um, new thing. Um, yeah, so that's a thing that they do. Uh, but anyway, so we're on St. Patrick's Day math. You can go up to like 10th grade or something and find products that work for you. So this is be like a, you're plotting points. So you find a mystery St. Patrick's Day leprechaun, you know, or create a symmetrical design or these are math like things. <laughs> Polynomials puzzles. See, I'm, I'm a preschool teacher. <laughs> I teach preschoolers. Um, so, you know, like these are all really cool things that you could do. Um, for your, what works for you. So this incorporates math, like St. Patrick's Day shopping. Do you have enough? What's the total cost? Like first to 10th grade or first to 12th grade. Don't, don't do this. Don't do that. 
if you they say to do like a maximum of four grades but this person has pre-k all the way to 12th grade like that's don't do that coordinate planes so there's all these really cute fun not cute but <laughs> all these fun things that you could do for high school math that's seasonal so you can make it for St. Patrick's Day. And then next month, you can make something for spring or you can make something for spring now, I would recommend. You can make something flowers tomorrow. You know, like there's so many things that you could do that still have the cute factor that you may be looking for, but or the um, uh, it'll still sell, even though it's not, you know, this super cute preschool thing with all the cute preschool clip art. Okay. Like you can still make money. You could still make adorable things. You can still make things that you enjoy creating, um, based on the current trends. Um, can you do preschool till sixth here where I live that encompasses all elementary school? You, you could, but like, a you could, <laughs> you could, um, I would not recommend it because products that you're making for preschoolers wouldn't necessarily work for sixth graders. Like if I were to make a write the room product for preschool for St. Patrick's day or just lower elementary, that might work like K to three, maybe, maybe K to two and then three to six, that might be a little bit easier. But I know my son, my first grader, and my fourth grader are doing very different things mathematically. Like she's working on division and fractions and all this good stuff. And he's still working on basic addition. So I wouldn't be making something math. <laughs> I, I, I don't think there's anything that I could make that would work for both. No, I don't think so. So like preschool, I would say the highest you could go if you make something for preschool would be like second grade. I'm so new. It's okay. No, it's okay. Don't be, don't be upset or don't, don't feel like that. Um, it's just, you have to think about, um, the students and their skills. So like you can actually look up when you're making a product, like let's just, um, go to product listings and just add new product right here. You can, well, okay, sh 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 just do it, just do it. All right, so <laughs> you go down here to, you know, grade levels and whatnot, you can, or below grade levels, you can look at the educational standards. So if you are looking at math for kindergarten, it's like count to 100s by ones and tens and um, write the numbers from zero to 20, things like that. This is for kindergarten. And then if you go to second grade, you can see that's geometry. Hold on. Let's do like um, numbers and operations in base 10. So that would be understand that three digits of a three digit number represent the amounts of hundreds, tens, and ones. Okay. A hundred can be thought of as a bundle of tens called a hundred. Okay. Numbers 100, 200, 300, blah, 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 or four, two refer to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or nine, wait, wait, all the way up, hundreds, zero tens and zero ones. Count within a thousand, skip count by fives, tens and hundreds, um, read and write numbers to a thousand using base 10 numerals. Like, so they're very different. Like add up four two digit numbers by using strategies based on place value and properties of operation. So they're very different, okay. Uh, I worked in a special needs class as a paraprofessional. Oh, okay. So that is different because it's like a classroom with more than one grade in it. So that would, that would be different. That would, <laughs> that would be a, an opportunity to um, <laughs> put more than one uh, at the same time. Um, and I think, um, I feel like that's, kind of portrayed in Teachers Pay Teachers quite a bit easier. So like if you did like St. Patrick's Day, let's do the, so there's like social emotional learning. 
Um, let's see. I don't know where you would find that. I guess there's like gifted and talented, but then also speech therapy, special education. There we go. So something like this, you would see, okay, so they have like K to three, pre-K to second. Let's do, let's say math like we did before. St. Patrick's Day math. Um, so this is like life skills math. So that's different, I feel like, because, yeah, this is just third grade. Interesting. This is pre-K to second. Yeah, so that's what I normally would see or do is pre-K to second. And then, so this one says first to 12th, but this is that shopping thing that we were talking about. And they put that under special education and life skills. So that would probably be different. Maybe that's okay. So this is, I wasn't seeing that before that it says special education right here. That is different. Yeah. Okay. Mostly though, they separate it by like pre-K to first. And it's always important to put the common core standards if you can. Um, okay. So do you think that if I did something like preschool to two, but can I add in special ed too? Yes, absolutely. So like these are multiplication, color by code. It's third to fifth, but also special education. And there's a bunch on here. This is all special education. I that's I I um uh, filtered it to that. But there's pre-K to K, there's pre-K to third, uh, pre-K to second, I see a lot on here. All right, we're gonna move on though. I hope that's okay. If you have questions, feel free to ask, that's fine. Um, let's get rid of that. Um, I'm gonna filter it to kindergarten. No problem, no problem. I'm happy to help. Um, so preschool math, this is a, this looks like a bump game. We could make a bump game. We should make a bump game. Oh man, that is that is everything we need. That is, I I'd probably do like basic edition, and I'd probably make it um, all the way to I don't know. Let's let's do bump. Let's do a bump game. So we have a bump. Um, I'm pretty sure we have a bump. Um, What's that called? Template in the membership? You make me smile. A bump game. <laughs> a bump game. <laughs> uh, bumpkin. Yes. All right. <laughs> uh, okay. So I'm going to grab this guy. But if you don't have, um, if you don't have themes like I do, um, first off, you should be in my membership and you should get my, um, <laughs> now you're laughing. Uh, you should get my, uh, course about PowerPoint and I show you how to make a theme, but if you don't have a theme, that's okay. We can still be friends. Uh, go over to design up here on the top and you can change your slide size right here to custom slide size. And then you can put in eight and a half by 11. Um, over here under variants, you can change the colors. You can change the fonts. Um, I have special fonts that I like for when I'm creating, <laughs> um, is the theme in your membership? Um, yes, it's in my, um, my PowerPoint class, uh, somewhere. I show you how to create a theme, which basically you're gonna, you're gonna do all the things and then you're gonna go over here to save current theme and that'll get you, that'll get you there. I'll get you there. And then you'll have it on the file, it'll be right here. So you'll be able to, this makes it kind of similar to um, Canva. So you have like cover photos, which would be, you know, 2000 by 2000. Um, and Facebook images will be the, the size that you need. Like you put all that in for what you want. So I have like Bethy Poo's theme, that's what I call it, or Bethy and April's theme or my default theme. These are all um, 
a regular piece of paper. Whereas landscape is, you know, a landscape piece of paper. Same idea. A pin image is a pin image. I believe I have written down in the membership, in the, the PowerPoint class, I believe I have written down all the different um, sizes um, using Canva right now. Well, Canva, Canva's good too. You don't have to. I just love PowerPoint. <laughs> all right. So let's go back to our um, thing. All right. So what were we making? I got distracted. We're going to make a bunk game. Okay. So I'm going to write it down. I'm going to put this over here and I'm going to write um, St. Patrick's Day um, bump game, not bumpkin, bump game. <laughs> All right. So I wrote it down because um, I get distracted. I sidetrack a lot. So uh, you'll learn that. It's fine. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> pumpkin. All right. So first things first, I'm going to add a box. So I just go over to the home and I just grab a rectangle. I just click on it right here. And then I'm just going to pull it to like most of the page. And then I'm going to arrange center, arrange, align middle. And then I'm going to right click this. And I'm going to format shape and I'm going to have the fill be white and I'm going to have the line be black and the width be three. And now we have a simple border. Easy peasy. Um, you can add something funky to make it a little bit different. Like you could add, um, you know, some like edges uh, if you wanted to. I don't really, that's not my jam. But if that's your jam and you wanted to make like a, you know, there we go. And then we'll just make that three point and the, you know, like have, have different edges. Uh, you can duplicate and, you know, <laughs> there we go. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing, friends. This is not my jam. But yeah, you could do that if that's your Jam. It's not my jam, so I'm not going to. Uh, but uh, here we go. We have a nice, easy um, uh, border around our paper. So what we're going to do, we just need some St. Patrick's Day clip art is what we need right now. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go to my pictures. I'm going to find some clip art. Um, if this is your first time here, I, I apologize profusely ahead of time. I have an obscene amount of clip art. I offend myself. Um, but you are just going to have to uh, come to terms with it because I'm obsessed with buying clip art. So here we are. All right. So let's see. It's St. Patrick's Day. So we could do something like that with little shamrocks. I like this too, this basket. We could put that in the middle. Hmm. Or we could have, do one of the little people. That's cute. I think I want to take that. What's the difference between this one and this one? Oh, they're slightly different color. All right, I'm going to grab you and put you right here. And, um, and then I'm just going to grab one of these guys. Actually, I'm going to grab all three off the colored ones and put them right here. Oh gosh, stop yelling at me. Oh, okay. Oh, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay, oh my gosh, okay, stop yelling at me. Gosh, um, I had this open. <laughs> if you drop it there, then it doesn't open as you can see. All right, so there we go. I have a whole bunch of cute little things. This is gonna, this is gonna be really cute. All right, um, we, I don't remember how I set this up before. So, okay. So we're gonna, we're just gonna add some words first. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, um, I'm gonna think a little bit while I do this and try to figure out what I did. Um, oh gosh. Um, St. Patrick's Day. Um, I would put this in the middle. Make it a little bit bigger. 
St. Patrick's Day. We could do that. And we get all uppercase. And then we could make it like this green color. Oh, oh I love it. Hey, Patrick's dead. You know what? Mm, mm, mm. We're going to put you over here. I'm going to think about you for a little bit. I'm going to think about it. I haven't decided yet. Um, I'm going to make these a little bit bigger. And I'm pretty sure in the membership I have a bump game. I can tell you. Hold on. Um, templates. No, that's not there. Um, uh, it might be in, I don't know. I don't know, friends. All right. I should stop looking though. <laughs> Because I'm wasting time. All right, hold on. I, I, I'm stuck now. I'm stuck. I gave us a Valentine's Day themed bump game template. That's right. Is it in this one? No, that's kind of what days. Dice games? Bump game. <laughs> that makes sense that it's a dice game. All right. Yes. That's right. Okay. This is what we're going to do. We're going to close this and we are going to uh, right click and we're going to open a copy. And this is why I'm going to explain to you why this already has all of the multiplication in there for me. So I don't have to uh, look like a fool trying to figure out all the multiples of seven because I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I apologize ahead of time. So um, this is in the membership. I, um, I'm i not going to make another one for today for you because you already have it. So um, I could put it, I could put it somewhere easier to find. I don't know where it is though. So I'll, I'll, I'll look around in the membership and I'll find it for you. And I will, uh, I'll post in the Facebook group um, to tell you where it is. Um, this has my name on it. So if you have this template, uh, make sure you change it and also change, uh, your name here. Cause this is my name and you are not me. Um, okay. So this gives you directions, uh, print out the game board, laminate. If you'd like it to last longer, give each student some math manipulatives to use as placeholders, two dice and the game mat to begin to play the first place page each player rolls two dice and finds the sum then they place a counter on the answer the rest of the pages are multiplication bump so after finding the sum they'll multiply it by the number in the middle if there is already a counter they bump it out of the way this game works best when you give each student a different color counter all right so so we're gonna do we're gonna take this guy we're gonna right click and we're gonna change picture and it's just gonna be that easy that's gonna be fine all right so we go over to clip art um, oh, where did I find that? I think it was Whimsy Clips. Yeah. All right. We're going to go to this. Maybe we'll look at other things, though, because I'm here, so I might as well. Right? Oh, I could do that. Oh, no. Go back. No, 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 Um, I like this one. I'm going to use the tall one this time, though, I think. Maybe. Yeah, that looks nice. All right, now we're going to take all of these big ones. And um, I'm going to go over to Power Pack, which if you don't have, is the items in the membership PLR and commercial. Yes, for... Yes and no. So it is commercial. You can use it to create your own products and sell them, but it is not PLR because you can't sell the template. You have to flatten it. You have to use it as a template. So in that sense, no, it is not PLR because you can't just take it and sell it as is. You have to sell it after you make something from it. I hope that makes sense. Um, just because 
yeah i don't i don't i don't want you to do that <laughs> uh okay so i have to change it up yes yes the one that's in there right now is um it's this um valentine's day one but it's very easy to change things up um saint patrick was there no that's not what i'm looking for all right pictures clip art other clip art whimsy clips like the hearts have to be in different places no no like you have to change it you have to change the pictures um St. Patrick's Day, kids, P and G. Okay, so this one is the darkest one, so we'll do that. Huh? Look how cute that is. All right, but we're gonna move you over a little bit. We're gonna move you over a little bit. Gotta put everything where it belongs nicely. What if I was using it for Valentine's Day? How would I change it up? Um, well, uh, you change this guy, this back picture, to something different. Um, and then I, th yeah, and then you can use the you can use the hearts that way. That's fine, but change it so it doesn't look like exactly the same product. If that makes sense. So it's fine that you're using like like for this that we're making um, right now, you we're changing all of the images. Um, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to change, um, to make this into, I would, I would change all of it. I would change all of it. Um, just keep the numbers. But um, in PowerPoint, you can just right click and like change picture, that's fine. Um, yeah, I would change all of it because, I mean, you could get different hearts. You could even use from the heart here up on the top. They have a heart you could make and you could use that instead. Um, but no, you may not. You may not use it as is. But can I use hearts for Valentine's Day? I would just change, I would change it up. I would change it up so that it's different. And mostly that's to protect you too, so that you're not giving them, you're not selling the exact same product as uh, I think right now there's over a hundred people who have access to my membership. Um, if all a hundred of them create Valentine's day bump games, then they would all be the same as this. And you don't, you don't want that. All right. So I hope that helps. Um, I'm going to grab these. Now, if I didn't have, uh, this power pack, which you might not have power pack if you're new, if you don't have power pack, um, I think my link for it is this one, bethanaveril.com slash power pack. Um, it just makes it easier to do a whole bunch of different things. But if you don't have, if you don't have it, you just right click and change picture. And then you could do it one by one like that. And that's fine. You could do that. Um, but I do have power pack. So I just hit shift and I grab all these little dudes. There we go. And I hit power pack and I go to add slash replace images and I replace images, add, and then I grab, this is the lightest one, which that's just my own thing. You don't have to, you could do it however you want. Um, I'm gonna, there we go. Um, and this guy, oopsies. Go like that. All right. And we'll grab this and this and this. Oh, and don't forget this guy down here. All right. Change. Not, mm -mm. Mm -mm. replace with images <laughs> add images um this is like the medium right okay there we go all right so we might need to change things around a little bit to make sure everything fits nicely i'm gonna switch this guy up 
I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not that big. Uh, right here. And there we go. All right. So now, got this cute little thing. Okay. Actually, I might just move this whole thing down a little bit. There we go. Okay, so now what I would do, I'm pretty sure I have it. Oh, sorry, I missed. There are always cupids. Oh, that's a good idea. And there's other like Valentine's Day stuff. You could do like um, rainbows. I always love rainbows. Man, those cute little um, uh, I think it's in your classroom decor templates you have these um these rainbows here they are these little rainbows and you can change the colors of them that's one of my favorite i love those they're so cute um yeah all right getting distracted keep getting distracted all right so i think i have all of these so that you can just copy the background which that's not the background um so you can copy all of these. Hold on, I can't focus. <laughs> I apologize. Uh, and this background, and you just copy it. I think I have it so that they will all fit. Maybe it's moving forward from here. Yeah, so these all fit. And this one is the odd one out, but that's fine. All right, so. We're just going to grab all these guys and we're going to see what happens. Uh, we're going to see if it works. Got this. And then we're going to delete and we're going to paste and we're going to send back. So right click, send back. Oops, not that far back. <laughs> all right, uh, bring forward. There we go. All right, so as you can see, they're a little off. So we could just fix it by putting this right. Well, why don't we just change this with the other one? With this, the taller one. <laughs> that was the taller one. Oh no. That's fine. Make this a little bit bigger. And put it right here. And then we'll take this. And I want to send this backwards a little bit. Not all the way back. Oh, sure. All the way back. And then arrange and bring forward. There we go. All right. So then it's behind all these little guys. Um, I want to change these so that they're behind each shape or each number. Oops. We're not changing much else. Um, just so that when we go down to this next one, it'll be pretty much the same, except apparently not. Whatever. Well, we're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out. <laughs> we're going to figure it out. Oh, gosh. Always an adventure. I tell you, when I did this the first time, I was trying to do math and I was struggling and people commented and I were like, that's not what that is. <laughs> It was ridiculous. All right, so we're going to do that again here. And sometimes we're just going to have to rearrange things. That's okay. It's okay to have to do a little bit of work because the main thing is that this is a template, so we don't have to do all the work, you know? Um, and we'll right-click, send to back, and then we'll arrange and bring it forward one. There we go. Okay, so... Why did I do that? Gosh, self. All right. So we're going <laughs> to, uh, we're going to take this times three and we're going to put it up here and we're going to take this bump and we're going to put it down here. All right. I'm going to view a little bit. Let me make this a little bit bigger. I can my dog's back there being loud. She's always so grumpy with me. 
when I make noises because, you know, I have a business. Uh, <laughs> she's almost so sassy back there. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you can hear that, but that's that's my girl back there. My Aunt Joey, that's her name. Aunt Joey Pizza. All right. So then we will, we're just going to do that for all these. And so basically for this game, it's a good practice for, um, oops. Oh, I know. I'm sorry. It's good practice for multiplication. Um, we actually, we use this. I had a, uh, this was one. And I, I had my children do it. And Joshua really, my son really enjoyed uh, the multiplication practice. And then he did really well on his multiplication. He did like something like getting all of them on this game in under three seconds on his, on his, like, at school or something like that. And he came home yesterday and he was so excited about it. And my daughter, <laughs> who is older than him and has done all this before, um, she was upset because she never got she never got that award for doing everything under three seconds because she gets really upset with timers. And so she just she didn't do it. She didn't want to. It upset her, so she didn't, which is fine. You don't have to. You don't have to do it, right? But Joshua came home yesterday and he was super excited because he did it. And then she was all mad all over again um, about not doing this before, not doing that math. I think it's I ready or something. But anyway, he got a he got a certificate for it. And she's just peeved that she didn't get this award because she's used to, you know getting all these awards for being so awesome because she is, she is awesome, but, uh, she didn't want to do it. And that's what you get, I guess. Send to back and then arrange, bring up forward. So it just comes forward one. Um, here we go. We'll take this times five and then we'll take this bump. I don't know why I did that to myself. I don't know. But yeah, so this silly, silly child of mine made this decision and now she's salty about it. It was just so funny to me because, gosh, so funny to me. Nikolai is my competitor. Yeah, that's Josie. And it's like, I mean, she's the oldest. So like most of the things that she's doing like right now, she's not having any competition with her family, because I mean, the oldest sibling she has is a grade below her. So she doesn't have any competition. And now he's, he's doing, he, he just, he's obsessed with, he's really good with numbers, similar to my husband. She's just, he's just very good with like, he just, he just gets them. And she, works hard for it like she gets it too but she works very hard and um oops all right well, let's see if that works let's send back bring forward and so now with him doing these things that she just kind of rage quit <laughs> last year it's uh it's upsetting her it's just adorable to me so it's like oh hmm. See, that decision you made yesterday is coming to bite you in the booty. Mm. Oh, that's awful. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, man. I could say these things because she's not here right now, and she's not going to be super upset with me. I'll just never let her see this video. And then she'll never be upset with me. I shouldn't. There we go. All right. He's youngest. Oh, no. So he competes with everybody in school. Oh, that's good. And he's young. <laughs> That's, I mean, it's not good, but I, I know what you mean. Oh, man. Yeah. My youngest, we struggle. We struggle a lot with him with um, reading, 
<laughs> anything we ask him to do, he he struggles. So um, that's a thing that we've been dealing with. But he's getting a lot better with um, uh, reading. We've implemented. We used to do like a like a, okay, like he needs to do this. Um, gosh, times seven. There we go. Um, he has this reading homework that he has like every day. And like, normally I try to do it after school with him, but I don't always do it after school with him. So he kind of has like a, I was like, okay. So like, if I don't do it after school with him, then my husband will. So he kind of got, he kind of got like, I don't know, not lazy, but like he understood that like if he didn't want to do the homework with me, then he wasn't going to do it, <laughs> you know, because like I don't have the I don't have the bandwidth to force my kid to do anything, essentially. Uh, and <laughs> so um, he kind of got out of homework quite a bit. Um, not out of it, but like he learned that he could kind of manipulate the me <laughs> And, um, since then we, we started implementing, we call it Ava reading hour. <laughs> and so every day we right click, send back, arrange, bring forward. Okay. Um, we, we have a, every day we, we read for half an hour. And it's at the same time and there's like an alarm, like he knows. And since we've done that, he's been doing amazing, amazing. And it's like, man, like he doesn't even fight anymore. He's just like, oh, it's every reading hour. So I got to go get my book or I got to go get my homework. Um, and he's gone from reading like in a minute, they have these like timed readings. And in a minute he was getting like, <laughs> on a good day, he was getting like 30, 30 words a minute. Right. And I, I mean, I, I, I don't, I don't know normal children because I, <laughs> I don't know normal children because my, my, my older two are like, <sighs> I mean, my oldest is in the gifted program because she loves reading so much. And my, my middle child is just as obsessed with the reading as she is. So like they, when they did the reading, they did the whole page, which is like a hundred and some odd words. And, um, it was so weird to me <laughs> that my son, my son was like, from the same family, like we, we raised all, all three of our children and he would get these 30 words a minute. And my other two were getting 120, 130, 160 sometimes, you know, like they were getting all of the words. And so I was like, what am I, what did I do wrong? <laughs> so, so weird. Like, why is he so far behind? And they're like, no, this is, this is normal. And I was like, oh, well, it's not normal for us. So we've been, we've been pushing him and he's been, he's been doing great. Oh, but so he was doing that. And now he's at, um, he gets like 60 words a minute, which is like double what he used to do. So I guess all you have to do is force your kid to read every day at 630. Ava reading hour. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, time's nine. So we have three more to do. Sorry, I have to talk while I'm doing these things or else I get bored or boring. Am I? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know if you don't like me chit chatting and I will stop. That's not true. I won't stop. I apologize. I apologize ahead of time. I cannot stop. It is not who I am. All right. So control paste. Uh, control V is uh, paste. And then I right click and I send to back. And then I go up here to, this is under the home and arrange, bring forward. Both my kids are required to read daily and do a reading log for school. 
I can't. Oh my, we do have a <laughs> we have a reading log that we're supposed to do for school also, um, but we never remember to do it. Like my son, like twenty minutes. Yeah, twenty minutes every day. So they have this. Yeah. Okay. So Joshua has one. My middle child has one, and we're supposed to hand it in every month, and we never remember. But he's literally. Like we go to the library like once every two weeks and we get a whole bunch of books and he reads all of them. Like he reads a whole book in like an hour. I mean, it's like a graphic novel. So whatever. Um, I didn't get that. Sorry, Did you try nobody's it? talking. Um, sorry. My Siri wants to have a conversation with me also. Um, we never remember to do it. So the teacher just has it for extra credit. Thank goodness. Because if it was for an actual grade... Joshua would probably be failing because I can never remember. So like he never, he's very honest, which is good, but like we never remember to write it down. So I'm like, at the end of the month, I'm like, do you want to write down that you read? And he's like, well, I didn't, I don't know exactly how much I read. And it's like, that's true. But we know that you've read every single day for like three hours after bedtime. So <laughs> I mean, there's that. Um, Ooh, the fourth grader has to answer a prompt. Oh, what kind of prompt is it? And then turn it every Friday. Do they have like specific books that they're supposed to read? So like they answer a question about the book or it's amazing how they read but hate writing in their reading log. Yes, that's that's ours. Yes, that is our issue. Uh, here we go. Make this a little bigger. And, you know, with these, you could make them, like, super big and, like, overlapping because it's okay. All they have to do is get on top of, like, the number. I hope that makes sense. Just trying to make everything fit. All right, there we go. That looks just fine. Looks just fine. All right. Um, no, I love you chit-chatting, and I just wish my internet would let me stay on all the lines up. I like when you're here too. There was one time where you weren't here. I think you had like a doctor's appointment or something. And I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Bless is not here. <laughs> uh, all right. There we go. Any bug. The problems can be, what would they like? What, what would it be like if that setting is real? He wrote about the apocalypse and zombies this week. That's really cool. That's really cool. I feel like if he had something like that, then he would love to fill out his reading log. But it's like, how much time did you read sent back? And he's like, he's not going to do that. He's not going to do that because he's my child. And I'm not going to do that. I was actually, I was having a conversation with my husband about that. I was like, I feel like like my my kids are struggling <laughs> because i don't have the ability to like focus <laughs> on things like 97 percent of the time and um he's like and you know like i mean we were talking about we we're talking about um when he was in the navy and I was very um, depressed when he was in the Navy because it was just me. I mean, my well, I had a best friend. I have a best friend. She's she's wonderful. And she helped so much with my children. But like the day to day, everything was just like, it's just me. And I've I've always felt like I'm failing them and like I'm just a junkie. I've always felt like that, <laughs> but when Brandon's home, then it's okay because it's like, oh, well, if I'm failing them, it's fine because Brandon will come home and he'll fix it, <laughs> you know, because I like, I'm very random and like, I, I just, I struggle with consistency, which is children thrive on consistency. So like, I could see that like what I was doing wasn't really working most of the time. And like, you know, I just, I was very depressed about it for a really long time. I'm not really anymore because my kids are fine but 
uh, we were talking about how like I struggled really hard when they were younger and uh, <laughs> he's like, you know, it's just, he's the person who's consistent and I'm the person who's not. And then they get to have a fun parent and, uh, you know, a, a parent who's like strict and it's like, <laughs> Like, you know, all those, like, all those shows, like, where they have, like, the thing that they're like, oh, my mom's not really a good mom. My mom, you know, like, she's just, she doesn't do the mom thing. And it's like, I wonder if that's how my kids think about me when they're older. Like, oh, my mom's kind of a crazy person. Hmm. I don't know. I'm in a much better place now that my husband's home all the time and I get to see him every day. And like, I feel, what is a mom thing? A mom thing? Oh yeah, I don't know. Like, I just feel like I'm awful at it, whatever it is. <laughs> Bring forward. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm just not very consistent. So I struggled with like, like I can't, like, especially with Jackson, like the other two, they're great. Just like they, I think it's an old, maybe it's an older sibling thing. I don't know, but they're just really, really good at me. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. Uh, apparently you didn't read the high five habit. I apologize. No, I did not. Oh man. Don't tell Sadie. I did read a thing about it though. Like I read the like, okay, so on my app, it wasn't on my app. That's what happened. Cause I was like, oh, I'm going to find it. And I looked onto it and, or I looked around and I couldn't find it. And they had like a whole bunch of like, um, what are those called? Uh, where it's just like explaining about the book, like just talking about the book. I read a few of those and then I got distracted as we know what happened. Um, and uh, I ended up reading a different book. <laughs> oh my gosh my life is just it's funny it's funny it's funny when you think about it's just funny it's just funny to think about like all the things that like I think I have a handle on like focusing on anything and I I just don't and that's fine it works out fine put that right there it all works out fine I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller so I can pick up this. Ah, not that small. I can pick up this shamrock and make it a little bit bigger. And I'm gonna make this shamrock a little bit bigger too because the number is 120. Ooh, there we go. Oh my gosh, we've been working on this one for so long. <laughs> I thought using a template would make it quicker. And here we are. Not quicker. All right. Oh, ah, I want the shamrock. Okay. Oh, there we go. Maybe. There we go. Okay. 48, 36. All right. We did it. <laughs> it has happened. Maybe it's the chit chat. Well, too bad. <laughs> Uh, actually, I'm going to make this sideways so that we can, oh, whatever. Ah! Once I was out running with the stroller, it's like rainy out. Is it actually raining? Chance of light rain in the next hour. Oh my gosh, it's been so nice here though. So I don't even mind. All right, let's look to make sure. Okay, we have everything. Oh, we need to change this though. All right, so this is what we're gonna do to change things. Look awesome, thanks for sharing. I have to leave. Will this be in our membership in Podia? Yes, and it'll stay on Facebook too. I don't take down these videos. Um, yeah, and it should be in the membership. I don't know if I have actually put them recently into the membership. So I'll grab that and I'll put the, I will make sure I do that today. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm just going to grab these colors just so I can put them into the um, title. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.
Um, oh, eye dropper. And then I'll grab this darker color. All right, and then I will send that back to black. And then I'll come up here to this bump and I'll change these colors to this guy and this other one. That's not an other one. What happened here? <laughs> no. It's the same color. What happened? <laughs> Is it actually the same color? It might be. It might be so close that it doesn't really change anything. That's fine, too. We could just change this to white. Look at that. Now it's beautiful. All right. Let me just make sure that there's no word Valentine right here. I don't see any. All right. All right. So now we have this. Oh, we have our St. Patrick's Day thing. So now I'm going to show you how I... First, before we do any of that, this is what we need to do. We need to go up to new slide. We need to go to reuse slides and we need to grab our handy dandy terms of use page and our um, more resources because we cannot not, we need to cite our source. Okay, so this was Whimsy clips? Whimsy clips. All right, so this is what we're going to do. Actually, we're going to browse and we're going to find something else that I created recently because I know I just made a whole bunch of products and um, spring and St. Patrick's Day. No. Okay, so that says it's vertical, but I remember it not being vertical. I think this one has a yeah there we go okay um so i just wanted to grab one that already had resources in it because that's what i wanted to do and then uh so what i did for this is i just um right click and you format picture and then you just change the fill of these so you change it to picture and you insert whatever uh file you have that is the um uh, shop size of whatever product you're working on or you you think that they'd be interested in sorry um so i'm gonna actually change this one um go over here to picture and insert from a oh not that one from a file and then we will let me see what products i have right now that are spring St. Patrick's Day. I want to say I just made one. Oh, yeah, these cookies lacing cards because they're so cute. Lacing cards. Okay. And then we'll go to here and we'll go to teachers, pay teachers. Um, I've noticed that some people list all their clip art artists. Clip. I wonder if it's clip artists or clip art artists. I guess it would have to be clip art artists yeah you're right you're right in their printable so they don't always have to change it i used to do that and uh i would still do it if i had more room uh but i skip this down to just one being one line uh another thing you could do is on your actual product this product that you have right here this one that we're taking from you can put them all in the wings this, that's a really good idea, actually. You can put them all in the wings so that you could just like put them in whenever you need to change them out. Um, that's a really good idea. We should do that. We should do that. I'm not going to right now or anytime soon, but we should do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so then you could just grab this, put it in, and then um, <laughs> you just have this easy, that's a good one, that's a good idea. But I'm getting distracted. All right. So we're going to go over here. We're going to go to our product listings. Life cycle's busy bug. That's fun. Um, this one. We're just going to take this and copy. And 
and then link. If you don't have a link on it, then it would just say hyperlink right there. Um, and then I always make sure that when I have my flat pack that it says do not flatten on all these things that I like. Oh man. So I have these lacing cards and I have these alphabet tracing and alphabet bingo. I think I'm going to change these though, because you don't really need an alphabet tracing thing if you're doing multiplication. So let's see what else I have here. Um, I do have a write the room. It's fun. Yeah. All that. Oh, well, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's Lucky Charms still, so it's fine. Oh, there it is. I was like, I don't remember when I made this. <laughs> Apparently, I made it like a week ago. All right. It's just these ones I made last year. That's why I was freaking out. That's why. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. All right. Uh, edit link right here. <laughs> Paste. There we go. All right. Now we got that. This is in your membership, this whole thing. So you can have all that. Easy peasy. Um, and then we need to add the clip artist, which I'm going to just come over here and right click this shamrock that I opened. Go to open file location and then oh bam, it's right there. And uh, where is your logo? Gosh, there we go. And uh, let's do this one. What's the difference? I don't know. Whatever, it doesn't matter. But this, take my name out. <laughs> uh, we'll make it a little bit smaller. We'll right click. Hyperlink. There's fun. Oh, whoopsies. Hold on. Um, what was it? Uh, whimsy. Whimsy. Clips. We'll right click and copy. Sorry, not right click. <laughs> control C <laughs> and Control V. And press OK. And then we'll go up to flat pack and hit do not flatten and that's so when we flatten this whole product um that will not be flattened so that people can click on it which is what we want them to be able to do i think this is new but do not flatten as well yeah okay um yeah this just looks so nice i just love it just love it all right terms of views font more resources this is beautiful. All right. So what we do is we're going to save as, and then we're going to browse and we're going to go to our templates, um, products spring, because I am optimistic, even though I'm aware that technically St. Patrick's day is not spring. I associate it with spring. <laughs> uh, St. Patrick's Day bump. Then we change the title to bump by Beth in April. My son's birthday is right at the very beginning of spring, and that just makes perfect sense because he's just a bundle of happiness. And it's Joshua. It's the one who draws all my pretty things and the one who is like a carbon copy of my husband. His birthday is soon. All right, so file. We just saved the PowerPoint. Now we're going to save as, and we're going to go to browse, and we're going to go to pictures, products, preschool printables, spring, St. Patrick's Day, and we're going to change this from PowerPoint to JPEG. And press save. Oh my gosh, that's so loud. Gosh, you're trying to murder me with your ears. Jeez, PowerPoint. I know, that's what I'm saying. I know. She's so sassy with me. Good morning. She's over there. 
<laughs> All right, so now we have that. Now we're going to flat pack it, which is basically just creating PDF that everything is flattened, which means uh, you can't just like take all my clip art off of here, which is in the terms of use of uh, all of these, all of, all of these places. All right, so we're going to go to pictures. We're going to go to products. We're going to go to preschool printables. We're going to go to spring. We're going to go to St. Patrick's Day, and we're going to go to whatever we just opened us. This one, SPD bump and we're going to change it we're going to call it st patrick's day bump in in april oh nailed it and then it's flattening all of this and then re-adding in all of my non-flattened things on top of that and then it's going to open up a the PDF when it's done, whenever it's done. And it's going to show up on one of these screens. I don't know. I have a whole bunch. There it is. Okay. Remember, if you're using this, um, gosh, if you're using this, remember to go through and make sure that you put your name here <laughs> and that's flattened. See, it's flattened. Beautiful. All right. Um, okay, so we saved it as a PowerPoint in our documents. We saved it as JPEGs and we saved it as a PDF. Now we need to create our shop size image. So we'll go over here. And I like to just grab like any old, <laughs> any old shop size. You know what I'm saying? All right. Um, how to create a product checklist. No, 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 no. I'm going to use this one. It says shop size, counting clip cards, SPD, which is St. Patrick's Day. I'm going to open a copy. Oh, but these are sideways. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. So it the reason I took this one is because it already has the text the way that I'm going to like it. And um, yeah, it has all this stuff. Look how cute these are. Oh my goodness. All right. So we're just going to right click this and we're going to change the picture. And we're going to change it to one of those things that we already made. So let's go over here to St. Patrick's Day and go to SPD bundle. And we're just going to grab this one. We'll do eight over here. We'll change picture and do two over here. And then this one, oopsies. This one is just going to be the regular bump cave. And we're going to make this one giant. Tonya, giant. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is undo caps lock, and that is what we're doing. All right. Looks like they're playing peekaboo, <laughs> right? Because they're so cute. Uh, all right. There we go. All right. St. Patrick's Day. Okay. Stop doing that. Stop auto cactusing. There we go. All right. Oh, da, da, da. We're just going to grab two, three, and this device, four. And then we're going to put them all together. And then we are going to grab all of them and put them over here. And then we're going to duplicate that. And then we can make the duplicate and then we put it over here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make this up here and put this over here, maybe put this, put this over here, put this over here, two, three, four, and this one's going to be five, six, seven, that's fine, all right, um, five, six, 
seven. All right. Includes multiplication bump from two to twelve. Change picture to. go um and then we're gonna say um basic addition for adding together two dice so no, we're gonna just let that be a thing we're just gonna put that right there. All right. And then this is gonna say pump game. And we're gonna change some of these over. <laughs> it makes it so small when you change it because it's a different orientation. Uh, change picture to eight. We're gonna grab all of them and make them a little bit bigger. Um, these um, bunk games are a wonderful, wonderful way for students to practice their multiplication. What do you call those? Multiplication, like, not like integers, but like, it doesn't matter. Um, with a silly game. There we go. Marvelous, darling. All right, so now we're going to look at it and see if there's any glaring typos. No, okay. All right, so we're going to save as, this is our template. We're going to save it as SS, which means shop size. And then we're going to do um, bump and then SPD, St. Patrick's Day. All right, and then we can change the title, but it doesn't really matter. Hi, Beth and April. So that is our... Um, PowerPoint. So if we ever need to change this, we'll just go to the PowerPoint and fix it. Um, and then we're also going to file, um, save as, and we're going to browse and we're going to go over here to pictures, pictures, products, preschool printable, spring, St. Patrick's Day, SPD bump. And instead of as PowerPoint, we're going to save it as a JPEG. And then look, everything shows up. Oh, hey friends. Thanks for coming to the party. And we're going to go Save all slides, and then after that, we are going to go to flat pack and we're gonna flatten these things. Um, SS bump, um, see, pat day, or it doesn't really matter. I just didn't want it to go in here. Um, there we go. We're almost done, almost done, almost done. There it is. This is what we're going to use as our preview. Okay, so oh gosh, can everybody get down? Oh my gosh, what's this? Oh, that's right. Back when I was going to do all the work myself. <laughs> nope. All right, so um, Saint, I wonder if the actual bump. No. Okay. So we could do St. Patrick's Day math. Let's get rid of this pre-K. Um, St. Patrick's Day math for kindergarten. Let's just call it St. Patrick's Day math game. <laughs> All right. So let's go on over here to uh, product listings. I'm just going to grab something that I've already made. I might even take a bump game. That's a good idea.
I'm quick at it. And there, here's another reason why you should not use the whole product by itself. Uh, is because I have it on my store. So if you do, then you will be duplicating my product and Teachers Pay Teachers doesn't like that. So um, you can use all of this. Just change it up. Change it up. All right. Um, just change it up. That's all. Um, I'm going to, I guess we could do Valentine's Day and just create similar listing. And we're going to call this St. Patrick. Hello. Patrick's Day Math Bump Game. To select file and do, 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 do. where are we? Here we go. St. Patrick's Day Bump Game by Beth and Averill. That is the actual product. And then we're going to go to preview and we're going to grab this SS bump. That is my preview, which is basically just my thumbnails which are here. This is the first one, this is the second one, this is the third one, and this is the fourth one. All right, this, oh my goodness. All right, so we can change this to this St. Patrick's, and you can use correct. <laughs> Patrick's Day Multiplication Bump Game is a fun elementary age game for students. Bump combines number fluency, recognition, and basic addition on the first page. Each following page allows students to work on their multiples. That's the word I was thinking of, multiples. Uh, this is a great way to practice basic multiplication in a fun game. They won't even realize they're practicing their multiplication. Take turns rolling a... I wonder, well, that's fine. Finding the sum and placing your counter on the correct answer um, for the multiplication, blah, blah, blah. When you get a number that's already taken, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say how to play. Turns rolling, uh, blah, 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 blah. This game, I didn't realize. Um, a PDF with a, it's not a jar of hearts. It's a uh, a basket, basket of um, shamrocks. Uh, or we could just we could just say shamrock. A shamrock themed game board for simple addition as well as multiplication. One bump game for each multiple from two to twelve, so students can practice their multiplication. Thanks. So it's perfect for elementary age. Working on threes this week. First page of threes. Uh, daycare. Blah blah blah. Perfect. 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 Three dollars. That's fine. I don't know what the normal kindergarten math. Although it's multiple, so it could probably go up past that. Whatever. That's fine. All right, math, blah, 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 math, math, 15 page PDF. I mean, we could do math. Um, I feel like hmm. Hmm. counting. Um, no, oh gosh, all right, <laughs> data, all right, so we're going to go up to grade one. And we're going to look at numbers and operations in base 10. Count to 120. No, not understanding place value. Hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Gosh. See, this is why I haven't been doing this. Is it's 
hard for me to, I don't want to look through this while I'm, you know, live. So, um, yeah. Okay. So it's fine. We'll, we'll do that another day. <laughs> it's not today. All right. So we get to a minute and then we're done. Oh. All right. Now I don't expect this to uh, rank anytime soon. Um, this is mostly just so that I have a product that is St. Patrick's Day math. All right. Um, the things that are on the first, the St. Patrick's Day map are the the big guns, you know? So like uh, this, this person has 8,000 reviews, 3,000 reviews, 1,000 reviews. And I know that the number of reviews is uh, sort of indicative of how many times they've sold. Things that have sold really well tend to be up on the top of the... Um, the top of the search, uh, the search, search engine result page. So I don't have any expectations, uh, to make it onto the front page, but here we are. That's fine. We made a product. I'm excited about it. It's going to be good. Um, it'll fulfill a need. Um, and that's all that we can really do. Um, I don't have any expectation of this selling anytime soon. Um, Maybe multiplication would be better. I probably should have done that instead. St. Patrick's Day multiplication. It looks a little bit easier to rank for already. What was that noise? Did I upset you, somebody? I don't know what just happened. All right. There was some noise that sounded like it was my computer breaking or something. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, yeah, I think I'm going to change it to St. Patrick's Day multiplication so that because that at least makes a little more sense because that's what it's not just math. It's multiplication. Yeah. So I'm going to change it. Oops. Not my purchases. This one. Gosh, calm down. See, Eliza, I did buy this one. <laughs> the St. Patrick's Day cookies. Look how cute they are. Okay. Uh, oh my gosh. Did you see they have lucky charms? Oh my gosh. I didn't notice that. All right. I might have to uh, come back to that. Hold on. Oh, you know what? It's right here. So I can edit this and I can say, I can just add the word multiplication instead of math. Multi Vacation. <laughs> Sorry, my brain is broken. I am thirsty. I'm hungry. And I've been sitting here to chatting with you for an hour and a half now. So uh, my words don't work. I apologize. Um, there we go. All right. Now it's going to be right here on my homepage whenever it loads all the way. There we are. There we are. All right. Um, and look at this. Oh my gosh. It has, it has all the, it has the, you know what? This is actually the clip art that I'm using though right now is these um, lucky charms. I can show you from, from that. Yeah. Um, yeah. You told me to buy it from the lucky charms from um, P4 charms. Yeah, see, this is the actual clip art that I'm using. And this is, she just added an outline to make it cookies. <laughs> it's good for her. That's awesome. Let's see, it's got a little face. Uh, these ones don't have faces, but same idea. I, I looked this up because I was like, what is this? I think it's a ribbon. I think that's what it was. I can't remember. I was like, what the heck is this thing? <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to let everyone go and have a nice day. I might also look at clip art and see uh, what's new. Maybe we should do that. We should do that first before we go. See if there's anything new and free. We're looking at free. Okay. So don't come at me with your Beth is forcing you to buy clip art, even though I do. <laughs> I don't force you. It's just we talk about clip art, you know? Tons of free new stuff. Oh, I haven't looked all day. Well, not all. I mean, 
all day also, but let's see, free. And then what I do, so we look up clip art and free, and then right here it says rating. I just click on it and I hit most recent. And I find these are some borders. These are some things that we have no need for. Oh, look at these little <laughs> pizza kit. Oh, that's cute. Spring flowers, look at those. New TPT logo. Oh, oh, this is for Bunny on a Cloud. Here's the new TPT logo. No outlines, with an outline, without an outline. That's great. You can also just like download it. You don't have to, like you could just right click and download this. That's what I did. I have it. I have it on my computer and I've used it. Uh, and it, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, that's cute. Why buy it? Well, yeah, it's free. So either way. Uh, but when you download it, it, it comes as a PNG with no background. So there's that. Um, if you like save as it's an SVG. So when you save it and put it onto PowerPoint, Hold on, let me show you what I'm talking about. I'll put this over here. All right, we'll just put you right here for a second. And then we'll just take this and put it right, oh my gosh, all right. You can change all this. You just convert it to a shape and then look at that, you can add a background you can do whatever to it an outline a black outline although you know whatever so yeah i mean you could buy it that that's cool you could buy it but uh you could also just mess with it without buying it <laughs> without giving anyone your money all right all right, we're gonna get rid of that. <laughs> Delete. Uh, yeah. All right. Sure. Oh, it's over here. Um. The. Oh, look at this. That's fine. Oh, counting petals clip art. That's cute too. And oh, these are some fun borders that are free. I love free. Love free. Oh, that's cute. Counting frogs. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. Uh, testing this product title field. <laughs> that's ChatGPT right there. Um, yeah. All right. Well, I think you get the idea of what you can grab and use. There's lots and lots. Make sure that you always... Oh, look at those frogs. So cute. Um, always give, um, credit to your clip artist and that's all for me. All right. Have a lovely day. I'm gonna go to the bathroom before I pee my pants. Uh, <laughs> and, um, yeah, that's all. Have a good day. Have a great weekend. Um, today's Thursday, which is my Friday. It's Friday. Yay. It's Friday. All right. Um, have a good week, have a good weekend, uh, and I will see you around in the Facebook group. I'll be there. All right. <laughs> Bye. Uh.